What are giant inverted boomerangs? Request by Extreme Rides TV. A giant inverted boomerang is a is a type of a steel shutter roller coaster manufactured by Vacoma. The larger is the ride is a larger inverted v version of the Vacoma popular boomerang sit down roller coaster. As of April 2017, five installations of the model are operation, and in, in another one in storage. History. Giant inverted boomerangs w were slated to open for the start of the 2001 season at three Six Flags parks. However, sudden areas of malfunctions occurred during testing and caused by the openings to be delayed. The first opening was Deja Vu at Six Flags Magic Mountain on August 25th, 2001. Deja Vu at Six Flags Magic Mountain has since been removed and relocated to Six Flags New England as Goliath. This was others. This was followed by the opening of the further two giant bird boomerangs named Deja Vu on September 1st, 2001 at Six Flags Over Georgia. And on October 7th, 2001 at Six Flags Great America. The opening of the fourth giant bird boomerang was delayed even more after the problems were discovered with the first three. Stunt Fall opened on August 8th, 2002 at Park Q Warner Madrin, then known as Warner Bros. Movie World Madden, Madden. In 2007, Six Flags announced the removal of Deja Vu from both Six Flags Over Georgia and Six Flags Great America. They announced that, six, that the Six Flags Over Georgia ride would be replaced with a new themed area called Thomastown, since we themed to Whistle Stop Park. After the Six Flags Great America ride, Give its last rides on October twenty eighth, two thousand seventeen. It was a removal. It was removed and replaced by a Buccaneer Battle Ride. In January two thousand eight, Silver Ward Theme Park in Idaho announced on its website that it would install the Deja Vu from Six Flags Great America with a projected opening date of July that year. They later announced Deja Vu would operate as AfterShack before opening. It had it at its new location. The ride is overhauled by Vacoma in order to make the ride more real reliable. The ride officially opened on July 21st, 2008. Rocky Mountain Construction, an, an Idaho-based manufacturing firm, assists the with the construction of the ride. In November 2009, it was announced that Merbelin Mermbledinia in Brazil had purchased Six Flags Over Georgia's Deja Vu. That ride was named to Sky Mountain and it is yet to open, but remains storage at the at the park. On August 16, 2011, Mass Live reported that Six Flags New was planning to build a giant inverted boomerang for the park's 2012 season, where the Shipwreck Falls attraction was located. On August 18, 2011, the ride was approved by the Agawam Planning Board, with the Los Angeles Times confirming one day later that Deja Vu from Six Flags Magic Mountain would be relocated to Six Flags New England and would begin, begin operation under the new name of 2012. The official announcement of Six Flags representatives was made on September 1, 2011, confirming previous reports and announcing that, it, that the relocated ride name would be Goliath. On October 16, 2011, Deja Vu operated for the final time. At around the same time, Shipwreck Falls was removed from, from Six Flags New England to make way for Goliath. Goliath at Six Flags New England was topped off on February 29, 2012. Goliath opened to the public on May 25, 2012. In 2011, the first, new, the first new giant inverted boomerang since 2012 was constructed. Jangi's Action Park opened in Apti named Giant Inverted Boomerang in September 2011. In 2014, Sosi Park Adventureland opened Quinta Leap, another Giant Inverted Boomerang. Installations After Shock at Silver Dollar City, formerly, for, formerly Deja Vu at Six Flags Great America, Giant Inverted Boomerang, Jinging Action Park, Goliath at Six Flags New England, formerly Deja Vu at Magic Six Flags Magic Mountain, Sky Mount Sky Mountain at Merbolinia, 
formerly Deja Vu at Six Flags over Georgia. Sunfall, located at Parku Warner Madrin. And Quarter Leap, located at Sushi Park Adventure. Ride. Layout and design. The Giant Bird Boomerang is departed from Vacoma's earlier boomerang designs. This main model factures a vertical cable lift hill that is that quickly lifts the train up a vertical tower. Also, the model is a larger than previous boomerang designs. From above, from above, the track layout looks like an X. Train. As a giant inverted boomerang is a shuttle roller coaster. Each installation has operated with a single train. Each of these trains have eight cars, each utilizing four cross seats similar to the to that on B and M inverted roller coasters. However, the seats are Ooh. giant inverted boomerangs and are straggled, straggled, such that the outside seats are pushed back slightly behind the middle two seats in each row. Train catchers for the total of thirty-two riders. Goliath at Six Flags Mill was set to feature new, a new a train by Premier Rides, different from the original built by Vacoma. This train will have four cross seating, exactly like that on B and M's inverted roller coaster. The new train design was chosen in an attempt to make the lines in the station le less complicated to navigate, and also to give the ride a higher higher capacity experience. The ride begins when the train sl slowly backs out of the station and up the vertical lift. Pulled by a car, once reaching the top of the lift, with riders facing straight down and their legs dangling in the air, the train is released and zooms through a station head heading into a 110-foot tall boomerang. This element contains two or th of the three inversions found on the ride going forward. After twisting through the boomerang, riders will go through a 102-foot tall vertical loop, which crosses over to the station and hits the second vertical tower of the ride. A catch car three pulls the train on the second vertical tower. This time, the riders face facing the sky. After the train reaches the top, it is released to cycle backwards throughout the layout. The train then goes through the station and heads up to the first vertical lift again, which is caught once more by a catch car and then very slowly lowered back into the station. Problems Six Flags had originally occurred four giant inverted boomerangs in 2001. The three, Deja Vu in USA and Stunt Falls at Warner Bros. Movie World in Madrid, Spain. However, following the installations of three Deja Vu, coasters are discovery of several problems. Six Flags allowed Vacoma to resolve these problems before installing their fourth coaster, Sunfall. Vacoma has since upgraded the original three rides to use this problem. One problem was clearance between the riders and the track overhead. After the train was mounted to the track, it was quickly discovered that riders could reach the top the could reach and touch the track while the train was in motion, posing the risk of injury. Vacoma has the improved adding new bars to the original shoulder restraints to prevent guests from reaching up too high. Up too high. During it until testing at on Six Legs, during testing on Six Legs over Georgia's Deja Vu, the catch car, a small device. Then catches the hold of the train on the four, first tower derail, breaking parts and destroying the components of the train beyond epigonical repair. The ride received a replacement train shortly after. During test tests, it was discovered that the train would stall in the middle of the boomerang. Unplanned it to unplanned the park install emergency unloading. SAS folding in its in this location, similar to other boomerangs, boomerang roller coasters. Another problem of this ride is the locking mechanism mechanic for the shoulder strings. A giant inverted boomerang required to use of the battery pack to un unlock each restraint in the in the even the power loss. 
Vertically, all the other roller coasters have quickly manual release system to unload the unusual locations and emergency situations. Some smaller and younger rides complicate that the restraints give too much room for the riders to fall forward during the lift. People who are bare chest, overweighted, or a best complica- complicated of chest comp- compressions during the mo- during the mo- movement movements that they were on the main lift. On July 11, 2016, Goliath at Six Legs Man suffered a cable snap on one tower, shutting the ride identically until replacing please, re- replacing parts are obtained and installed. Criticism Since the announcement of Goliath in, on September 11, 2011, U.S. Representative Ed Markey with S.I. Sheik and A.B. Signal from Massachusetts General Hospital Told Boston, told the Boston Herald that Fix Sites amusement park rides, look those at Six Flags New England, are exempt from federal oversight due to 30-year-old special in- internet loophole. That means that even as these rides get faster and taller, safety rules remain stuck in the safe by state patchwork that leaves riders vulnerable. Var- also, the jerky motions of these rides have been linked to small tears in arterials or the spike in blood pl- blood pressure, but we aren't sure if the necessary if there is necessary cause and effect relationship. Rankings: All giant all giant inverted boomerang models currently hold the records for the second biggest drop on an inverted roller coaster, the third highest inverted roller coaster, and the fifth fastest inverted roller coaster. What do you think about what do you think about giant inverted boomerangs? I'd like to hear in the comment section below what you think about giant inver- inverted boomerangs and please post your likes if you want to learn more about Coast Box. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook for more construction updates, breaking news and a lot more. And if you want to put in requests in the comment section below like what Extreme Rides TV did Uh, You can do that in the comic section below. Alright, I'll see you guys soon.